In this video, I tried a recipe from the Binging with Babish cookbook, uh, obviously a super popular YouTuber. Um, I decided to try Kevin's famous chili from The Office, one of my favorite scenes ever from The Office, and this was his adaptation of that. So. To start, you have some dried chilies. I used Wahio and ancho chilies. And I cut them up and put them in a dry pan. I tried to remove some of the seeds, um, but as you can see, there's still some in there. But you just wanna cut these up and toast them in the pan for a little bit. Just a couple minutes. Kind of waking them up. Then transfer those to a blender. Then I added some cornmeal. Some cocoa powder, unsweetened of course. Some cumin. I need to transfer my cumin into a better container. <laughs> then some oregano and blend that all up into a fine powder. And then add some chicken stock to that. Mine was warm, but you don't need it to be warm. Then blend that to make a paste. And that's the consistency that you're looking for. Next, I'm gonna cut up a habanero. This pepper is really spicy, so that's why I have on those gloves. I didn't wanna get it under my fingernails and then accidentally touch my eye or something. Um, and I also decided to take the seeds out of the peppers. Um, the, that's where a lot of the heat lives. But actually, when I was done, I figured I could have left them in because it wasn't too spicy, but if you're really sensitive to heat, I would say take the seeds out or just leave out the habanero altogether. Cut that up really small. This was the meat I used. It was a beef chuck steak, and I just cut it into pretty small cubes. Put a little bit of oil in a pot uh, over medium heat and you just want to brown these up. Then when they're all browned, remove them, set aside on a plate. I had to do this in batches because I didn't want to overcrowd the pan because that would make your beef steam and I just wanted to brown it up so I had to do it in two batches. All right next we add some onion, some diced onion, some jalapenos, these were also seeded, two jalapenos. Some garlic there's the habanero then I poured in half of this can of Mexican beer Now some tomatoes. These were six whole tomatoes chopped up. I'm sure you could use a can as well. And then some brown sugar. You're like watching it melt. <laughs> and then I added in the uh, the steak back in to the pot with all those drippings and then also the paste that we made earlier. 
The paste gave it such amazing flavor. Here's just some more chicken stock. I'm sure you could use beef stock or vegetable stock. Um, and I added a little bit of water as well. And the kidney beans I'm going to be adding in later. I let this simmer for quite a while. Um, it was about, I think, two and a half hours I let this simmer and just would occasionally come check on it. Um, but I wanted to save and put the kidney beans in later because I didn't want them to get mushy. But here I am just checking on it every now and then. And after about two and a half hours, I added the kidney beans, just warmed those through. And now we're ready to dish up. Obviously, I just put it in some bowls, topped with some cheese, some cilantro, oh, those were green onions actually, <laughs> and some sour cream. And then I put some Fritos on it because I love Fritos with chili. <laughs> but this chili was excellent. I think the beer and the chilies, the dried chilies in it were awesome. I mean, it gave it such deep richness. Also that cocoa powder and a little bit of sugar, it was really, really good. I'll leave a link down below to the recipe uh, so that you can try it out for yourself. So I give this a thumbs up. Kevin's Famous Chili <laughs> is a winner. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.